Well, uh, obviously, you, uh, I don't mind though that you disabled the uh, text comments because I only have a few fingers, and the ones I do have are very sore. It's kind of hard to type. But you say, what's the difference between Michael Vick and uh, the people that want to put down dog pit bulls for their supposed aggression? What's the difference? What do you say? M Michael Vick is a dog, and then he's been read wrong, and he's the he's been singled out or something. I mean that comparison makes no sense at all. Not even close. Okay. First of all, Michael Vick's a human being. He has reasoning skills. He has a thought process. He uh, knows how to make a decision, right or wrong. Correct? He's supposedly a, a quarterback. Quarterback is the brains of the team. I don't understand. And then you got to remember that he comes from a team, your team, that is so disrespectful anyway, it doesn't matter. You just, guys, you just can't let loose that name, can you? You know, you know, don't you really understand how nasty and pervade, just how nasty that name is? Redskins? Ah, damn, man, come on, stop it. But let's get back to the Michael Vick thing. It has nothing to do with pit bulls. He could have been doing this to any kind of dog. It didn't matter. We're not discussing pit bulls. Okay, the reason Michael was jacked was because he tortured dogs. It doesn't matter that they're pit bulls and they were fighting dogs. But because they were, he had more than one to torture and beat on and everything else. He didn't do his time. He did torture these dogs. He had to go in front of a judge when he copped his plea and admit he had done wrong and he had to explain what he had done wrong. I know it. from a th That's just how the justice system works. I'm a, I know it because I've been in front of judges many times as an attorney. I've seen it over and over and over again. And that's the process. In criminal conviction, when you get up, you cop a plea, uh, plead no contest, which is the same thing. You still have to explain why you're guilty. What made you guilty? The judge has to be convinced that you honestly know who you're guilty and why. Yeah, so when he gets up in front of a judge and cops a plea, he had to convince the judge that he was a criminal, that he tortured these dogs, that he beat them, electrocuted them, and everything else. You don't get that? That's why he's suspended and why people don't like him. Most of it is because to this day, he's not said one word about the dog's condition. Not one. Some of them it supposedly were his personal dogs. Doesn't he give a shit that his dogs almost died at the hands of his so-called affiliates? Yeah, a.k.a. cousins. <laughs> God, you guys, come on. You know, he's all tatted up with all the gang tats. You know, he's just some lucky little punk that got lucky and got there to be a, I don't know how he got to be a quarterback. Usually quarterbacks, you know, are smarter than that. You would think he'd have a little more brains. I mean, he makes good money. Why would he want to get into dog fighting of all things? You know why? Control freak. It's all a control issue, trust me. We'll see you later. That's how I feel about it. I hope he stays, uh, you know, suspended. What's the fucking use? And by the way, go Yanks. Go Yanks. <laughs>